So what causes eczema? And the underlying cause or you know, combination of causes in eczema is quite complicated, which is what makes it quite difficult um, to understand. And the easiest way that I think is to think of it in three separate um, areas in terms of a cause. So the first area is that um, there's dry skin and it's a bit like bricks and mortar in the wall. So if you have inherited dry skin, the bricks are fine, but the mortar between the bricks can be a little bit uh, missing and that can lead to dryness in the skin. So that's the first component of the, the, three, the three areas. The second is that things living on the skin can irritate or infiltrate the skin a bit more easily. So things like bugs, in particular a bug called Staphylococcus aureus, which draws flares for a lot of patients with eczema, um, but also allergens and irritants. And this is usually how food allergy develops in children who have eczema. Related to the skin barrier dysfunction as well, water can leave the skin more easily and that leaves the skin dry. So that's the skin dryness as the first thing. Second is things irritating um, or causing allergies in the skin. And the third component is your body or skin reacting to these um, influences. And that is seen as inflammation, which is predominantly redness um, and scratching. And this inflammation is a drive to, for your body to get rid of these things that are being irritated on your skin. Um, and that's where our treatments for atopic dermatitis come in, targeting those three causes, the dry skin, things irritating the skin, and the body's um, immune system reacting to all those changes.